Happy Memorial Day, everybody, and welcome to Monday Night Raw, where tonight, the number one contenders for the World Tag Team Championships will be decided as the Brawling Brutes look to settle the score with the Judgment Day. Also coming up tonight, your final two first round matches from the Raw side of the King of the Ring bracket. Sami Zayn meets Tyler Bay in moments to kick us off here in Hartford. Also tonight in your main event, another score to be settled between the visionary Seth freaking Rollins and the Celtic warrior Sheamus. First round of the King of the Ring. Who is moving on to next week? We will find out later tonight in your main event. We are live from the XL Center in Hartford, Connecticut. Happy Memorial Day 2023. We are just a few weeks away from the King of the Ring pay-per-view, and it is time to continue the first round of that very prestigious tournament. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 212 pounds, Sammy well, Sami Zayn, always the center of controversy here on Monday Night Raw. His best friend, Kevin Owens, taking out the Beast Incarnate Brock Lesnar two weeks ago. And then just seven nights ago here on the Red Brand, Sami Zayn certainly aiding Kevin Owens and becoming the number one contender for Matt Riddle's WWE Championship on the Sunday, June the 18th in Philadelphia. Sami Zayn certainly sticking his nose where it certainly didn't belong. And taking John Cena's eye off the ball one too many times in that main event matchup last week. But tonight, Sami Zayn participates in King of the Ring, and he has got his hands full with a big, strong boy, Tyler Bate. And his opponent from Dudley, England, weighing in at 175 pounds, Tyler well, let's take a look at this King of the Ring bracket thus far. Last week on Raw, Cedric Alexander and Shinsuke Nakamura moving on to the quarterfinals. But who is going to join them and decide our quarterfinal matches for next week here on the Red Brand? Sami Zayn, Tyler Bate, one-on-one. -on -one, and as we mentioned, still to come later tonight, the Celtic warrior Sheamus. He has been at odds with the Visionary for weeks. He owns a one-on-one -on -one victory against Rollins. And then you remember that six-man tag team match at Vengeance. The Brawling Brutes defeating Rollins and the Judgment Day. But who will be the better man tonight between Rollins and Sheamus and who will fight Cedric Alexander in the quarterfinals next week here on Raw? As we mentioned, Sunday night, June the 18th, we are heading to the Wells Fargo Center, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania for the 2023 King of the Ring live premier event, which will conclude our biggest week in Universe Mode history. Of course, the previous Monday, two weeks from tonight, it is Raw Homecoming, Madison Square Garden, New York City, another live premiere. And then later that Friday night, it's going to be Super Smackdown, Washington, D.C., a week of live premiere events right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. All will kick off at 5 p.m. Eastern time this coming June, and Tyler Bate taking the fight to Sami Zayn early. Yeah. Remember what is on the line, not just the crown of the king, but the winner of the King of the Ring tournament is moving to the main event of SummerSlam to challenge for their brand's world championship. SummerSlam coming up in August, a lot of opportunity riding on the line in each and every King of the Ring matchup. This tournament kicking off last week on Raw and SmackDown. It has been a doozy so far. And Tyler Bate looking to make a name for himself on the red brand with a toothpaste suicida through the ropes and down to the floor. We saw the big strong boy take the Ilya, excuse me, take Ilya Dragon off the Intercontinental Champion to the limit a number of weeks ago in that open challenge. Coming up short, the championship on the line. But Bate with another big opportunity here tonight. The great liberator of WWE, however, Sami Zayn looking to make sure Tyler Bate isn't using him as a stepping stone in this tournament. As we mentioned, Sami Zayn, always the center of controversy alongside his best friend Kevin Owens here on Monday Night Raw. Taking out Brock Lesnar a number of weeks ago, and as we mentioned, coming up on the 18th of June at King of the Ring, Kevin Owens will meet the original bro Matt Riddle one-on-one -on -one for the WWE Championship. 
I'm sure Sami Zayn is looking to be in the prize fighter's corner that night. And of course, be in the finals of the King of the Ring on that night as well. But he's got to get out of the first round. Tyler, B Tyler Bate looking to make sure this is going to happen on his watch. Former NXT United Kingdom champion versus a former NXT champion. Two great talents here, but Tyler Bate got to be the underdog here tonight. He's been a lot of... Certainly turned a lot of heads and been impressive in his run of the main roster the last couple of months, but he needs to start picking up some W's. Start building some momentum here on Monday Night Raw. Tonight could possibly be that night as he sends Sami Zayn off the top. It'll be a great night of action. Happy Memorial Day 2023, everybody. We are live from the XL Center here in Hartford, Connecticut. First time back in the States since our massive Canadian tour over the last month. All roads lead to the biggest week in Universe Mode history. It kicks off Monday night, June the 18th, Monday Night Raw Homecoming from New York City in Madison Square Garden. Later that week, it is Super Smackdown at the Capital One Arena in Washington, D.C. Of course, 24 hours after that is our channel member exclusive WWE live event. Hit the join button down below so you don't miss out. We're heading to the Manhattan, New York Hammerstein Ballroom. And then Sunday night, June the 18th, Wells Fargo Center in Philadelphia for King of the Ring. Tyler Bate sending Sami Zayn on an amusement park ride on the outside of the ring. Tyler Bate, incredible arsenal does that young man have. We're going to use all his weapons to keep down the great liberator tonight, but Sami Zayn certainly got other plans. Cutting Bates momentum off there, and a simple yet effective suplex on the young man. You notice Kevin Owens not in the corner of Sami Zayn tonight. Rare occurrence, not sure what's going on there, but Sami Zayn's usually in the corner of Kevin Owens, but I digress. Not looking to drive a wedge between two men who have, for one reason or another, ran Monday Night Raw in their own ways over the last number of months. Nonetheless, Tyler Bate in the corner. And Sami Zayn has got him in a precarious situation right now. Just throwing haymakers and fouls it up with that basement drop kick. Sami Zayn looking to move on and fight Shinsuke Nakamura in the quarterfinals next week. Of course, Nakamura defeating LA Knight in their third matchup in the last number of weeks in that rubber match last week. Phenomenal contest between LA Knight and Shinsuke Nakamura. And Nakamura ultimately punching his ticket to next week on roll to participate in the quarterfinals of the 2023 King of the Ring. But who will be his opponent? Will it be the big strong boy Tyler Bate? Will it be the great liberator Sami Zayn? We will find out as this match progresses. It's Tyler Bate getting sent to the outside. And Sami Zayn has got his eyes locked on the young man. Can't imagine he's going to go for a dive right now. Sami Zayn's a little, or excuse me, Tyler Bate's a little far out. Zayn could just be looking for a count out victory here. Win by any means possible over Tyler Bate. A win is a win. As long as that bell sounds and you're on the other end of it, you're moving on to fight Nakamura next week. But Bate trying to get back into this matchup. Goes behind on Zane. Nice snap German there. Alex not to go for the bridge. Tyler Bate knows it's going to take a lot to keep down Sami Zayn tonight. Bate not looking to go down without a fight. Going for the shooting star press. But unfortunately, Sami Zayn getting the knees up, and the rib cage of Tyler Bate has got to be crying for mercy right now. Sami Zayn taking Bate over. Tyler showing a sign of life there, but Sami Zayn having none of it. Sending him into the corner. At any moment, Sami Zayn could be looking for that Haluva kick. Tyler Bate knows that, and he needs to get out of having his back against the wall. Snapping the fingers of Sami Zayn there, taking a page. And his old friend, the Bruiserweight Butch's book, and sending Sami Zayn down with a brain buster there. Nice move by Tyler Bate. Double underhook, sits out with a power bomb. Bate is rolling, and Tyler Bate looking for the cover to fight Nakamura next week, but you saw Sami Zayn. His hand was underneath the bottom rope, not even able to get the one count there. Bate's got to keep this momentum going, though. Can't take the wheels off the track just yet. Keep moving forward. Keep throwing everything you got at Sami Zayn. All on the means of fighting Shinsuke Nakamura in the quarterfinals seven nights from tonight. Now Zayn heading up to the top rope. Bait is down on the canvas. Going for the splash and nobody home. Nice survival by Tyler Bate there. Takes him out with the lariat. Not sure if he got all that there, but it was certainly enough to take Sami Zayn off his feet. Tyler Bates' wheels are spinning. 
And surprisingly, Sami Zayn finding himself in the lower half of this matchup. Bait the underdog coming into this thing, but could be ready to pull off the upset and move on to the quarterfinals of the King of the Ring. Oh, look at this, taking the legs out up from underneath Sami Zayn. Look at this, reverse Boston Crab on Zayn. If Zayn taps out, Bates got a first class ticket to fight Nakamura next week on Raw. Sami Zayn holding on for dear life, able to pop the ankle of Tyler Bate out from under him. Tyler Bate almost had him there. Double underhook powerbomb a few moments ago in that reverse Boston Crab. Sami Zayn. Certainly got to be feeling the injuries in the back right now as Bate is really focusing on it. Momentum shifting back to the Great Liberator's corner. And now Sammy up on the top rope with Tyler. Goes for the Frankensteiner. And Tyler Bate's able to hold on. Crash and burn. And delivers the bare knee. Tyler Bate is rolling. And he might have Sami Zayn. The upset of the King of the Ring. Not just yet. Tyler Bate looking to bust a couple of brackets tonight and defeat Sami Zayn in this first round matchup. They going back up to the top rope, but went to the well too many times. Sami Zayn sends him for a ride to the canvas. These two men fighting tooth and nail. That's what the King of the Ring is all about, as we saw last week on Raw and on SmackDown. Each and every participant leaving it inside the squared circle to try to make it to Philadelphia on the 18th of June to participate in the semifinals and hopefully the finals of the King of the Ring. Zayn sending Tyler into the corner again. Surprisingly not going for that Haluva kick just yet. Sami Zayn's got a lot of tools in his bag of tricks. Wait a minute, Tyler's in the corner, there it is! Haluva kick to Sami Zayn, or excuse me, to Tyler Bate. And then it's gonna be all she wrote. No! Tyler Bate reaching out, grabbing the ropes, and the big strong boy continues on forward. Tyler saved by the ropes. And Sami Zayn has gotta be racking his brain, hitting Tyler Bate with the Haluva kick. But this matchup does not hear the sound of the bell just yet. And here comes Tyler into the cover. Will that do it? Sami Zayn gets the shoulder up. Tyler Bay barely survived off the Haluva kick, able to grab the ropes, but was that the adrenaline rush that this young man needed to fight to the very end, taking Sami Zayn down again? Sami Zayn might have thrown his best trick at the big strong boy. Tyler Bate was able to survive, and that may be the confidence booster that sends him to the quarterfinals. Zayn trying to get back into this. Tyler Bate having none of it. Oh, wait a minute. Tyler Bate pops the ankles out from under and underneath. Sami Zayn again, and he's got the reverse Boston in. Sami Zayn trying to reach out, but he taps. Sami Zayn taps. Tyler Bate pulling off the upset of the King of the Ring. And the big strong boy is going to the quarterfinals to fight Shinsuke Nakamura seven nights from tonight on Monday Night Raw. What a win for this underdog in the first round of the 2023 King of the Ring. Here is your winner, Tyler Banks. Absolutely incredible performance from the first ever NXT United Kingdom champion. And there you see it, the big strong boy Tyler Bate. Moving on to next week on Raw, he will battle Shinsuke Nakamura in the quarterfinals of the 2023 King of the Ring. And whoever wins that has got their ticket punched for the 18th of June in Philadelphia. What a way to kick off Monday Night Raw on Memorial Day. We're back live in the XL Center in Hartford, Connecticut. And we got a debut here on the Red Brand tonight. Tiffany Stratton, former NXT Women's Champion, is in the house on Monday Night Raw, but she has got her hands full with the new face of the women's division, the woman that dethroned Asuka back on the 14th of May at Vengeance. The new WWE Women's Champion, Liv Morgan, is in the house. Jersey, the Raw Women's Champion, Liv Morgan. 
And as for Liv Morgan and her championship reign, the first challenger has already been aligned. Coming up at King of the Ring, SmackDown's Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler, has been on a dominating winning streak over the last couple of months, and she has earned herself an opportunity to fight Liv Morgan in Philadelphia at the King of the Ring for the WWE Women's Championship. Should be a great contest coming up in Philly next month, but Liv Morgan set to take on the debuting Tiffany Stratton. This is Liv Morgan's first time back inside the squared circle since that grueling matchup in Vancouver at Vengeance, where she defeated the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, to become the new WWE Women's Champion. Absolutely awesome matchup. Amazing performance out of Liv to survive and thrive under the pressure of being inside the squared circle with one of the most dominating women in WWE history. Scratch that. In pro wrestling history, the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka. Liv Morgan survived everything Asuka had to throw at her. As looking, wait a minute, T Tiffany Stratton looking for the upset here, not just yet. Liv Morgan walking away at Vengeance a couple of weeks ago, your new women's champion. I'm sure Liv is going to be a fighting champion. She's back in action tonight. Title may not be on the line, but when to give Tiffany Stratton an opportunity in her Raw debut to upset the champion. SmackDown's Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler, she has been dominant over the last couple of months on the blue brand. Wins over Indy Hartwell on numerous occasions. Wins over Nikita Lyons, Zoe Stark. Now Shayna Baszler looking to take down Liv Morgan in Philadelphia. In just a couple of weeks for the women's championship. All well, remains to be seen who will leave the Wells Fargo Center on that night, your women's champion, but I'm sure it's going to be an incredible contest and a promotional battle between these two women. Nonetheless, Tiffany Stratton looking to make the most of her Raw debut tonight. Former NXT women's champion taking the fight to the face of Monday Night Raw's women's division. Here comes Liv Morgan taking up the legs from Tiffany Stratton. The women's champion not looking to fall in defeat in her first night back since Vengeance. Almost had her there, but Tiffany Stratton pops the shoulder up. Stratton not looking to come up short in her Monday Night Raw debut. It's Liv Morgan, though, taking the fight to the newcomer right now. Liv looking good so far. Already seen some great action tonight here in Hartford, and that's certainly going to continue throughout the night. Tiffany Stratton be put on the top rope, looking to avoid whatever Liv had in mind. Liv takes the knees out, and there's a double knee to Tiffany Stratton. And that young superstar may be seeing stars. Liv Morgan picks up the victory upon her Monday Night Raw return. A great victory for the new WWE Women's Champion, and Liv Morgan is full steam ahead to the 18th of June in Philly. Here is your winner, Liv. Liv Star is shining bright, but will the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler, be the one to put it out? Come King of the Ring, come Philadelphia, when the Women's Championship of the World is on the line. Do you want access to a bonus Universe Mode episode every single month? Well, now you have the chance. Click the Join button down below and become a NOAA Nation Gaming channel member. Not only will you receive one bonus Universe Mode episode every single month, but you'll receive access to exclusive badges, emojis, discounted merchandise, and more. Become a Premium Pass channel member today and don't miss out on these exclusive perks. The action continues tonight on Raw as the street champ, Solo Sokoa, set to battle Cameron Grimes in one-on-one -on -one action. Plus, Apollo Crews returns to the squared circle, one-on-one -on -one with the New Day's Kofi Kingston. And the results of those contests see the street champ, Solo Sokoa, picking up another dominating victory over Cameron Grimes. And Apollo Crews returning to the squared circle with emphatic force. The New Day's Kofi Kingston not able to survive Apollo tonight. Will Apollo Crews' momentum continue here on the Red Brand? It is time to decide your number one contenders for the WWE World Tag Team Championships. Currently held by SmackDown's Mustafa Ali and Ricochet, but these two Raw teams look to gain their opportunity coming up at King of the Ring. The following is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, 
at a combined weight of 458 pounds. Ridge Holland and Butch, the brawling Bruce. It is the biggest week in Universe Mode history. It all kicks off Monday night, June the 12th, and leads to Sunday night, June the 18th. Raw Homecoming, Super Smackdown, and King of the Ring all live premiere events at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. And don't miss the channel member exclusive live event, June the 17th, Saturday night, Hammerstein Ballroom in Manhattan, New York. It promises to be the biggest channel member exclusive live event we have had yet. Hit the join button down below so you don't miss a minute of what is going to be the biggest week in Universe Mode history. But speaking of King of the Ring, the winning matchup, or excuse me, the winning team tonight, earning themselves a championship opportunity on the 18th of June in Philadelphia. And their opponents, accompanied by Rhea Ripley, at a combined weight of 439 pounds, Finn Balor and Damian Priest, the Judgment Day. Ominous intimidating and so far in their run on monday night raw mostly dominating and i say mostly because remember back at vengeance these two men damian priest and finn balor teaming up with the visionary seth freaking rollins against the brawling brutes in their entirety and unfortunately coming up short but besides that loss you look at everything priest and balor have done since aligning themselves a couple of months back and they have certainly been impressive here on monday night raw Singles wins as well as tag team victories over the Street Profits. And remember when Butch returned to action, he went one-on-one -on -one with the Prince Finn Balor, and Balor got the win on that night. So now that Judgment Day, no Seth Rollins, and even no Sheamus as both of those men getting set for the main event. Coming up in moments, their quarterfinal match in the King of the Ring. The Balor and Priest set the lock horns with Butch and Ridge Holland, the winners of this matchup. We'll meet SmackDown's Mustafa Ali and Ricochet. Will be another interpromotional match for the World Tag Team Championships at the King of the Ring live premiere event. It should be a great matchup, some bad blood between these two teams. And with an opportunity on the line, you know they're gonna leave it all inside the squared circle. Prince Finn Balor ridge the fridge, kicking things off here. Balor with the Pele to take down Holland. It was an absolutely incredible six-man tag team matchup back in Vancouver at Vengeance. These four men, along with Seth Rollins and Sheamus, leaving everything in the kitchen sink inside of that ring. Ultimately, the Brawling Brutes picking up a most impressive victory in Vancouver on that night. Finn Balor and Damian Priest looking to right the wrong of Vengeance in the six-man tag. No Seth Rollins to, in their mind, I'm sure, hold them back tonight. It is all Judgment Day, even with Rhea Ripley at ringside. And they're looking to earn themselves the number one contendership for the World Tag Team titles. Tag made to Butch, now a tag made to Damian Priest. A little tag team offense there by the Judgment Day. Talk about the Nightmare Rhea Ripley. She has been pretty dominant on Monday Night Raw recently as well. We were two weeks back in that Canadian street fight. Her and Natalia locking horns and Rhea Ripley absolutely beating the hell out of the Queen of Hearts in that matchup. Ultimately walking away the victor. Let's roll to the outside right now. Oh, wait a minute, Damian Priest step up over the top rope. And down goes the bruiser weight. Damian Priest not afraid to take things to the sky. It has been well documented how much, how highly we think, I should say, of the Archer of Infamy, Damian Priest, regardless of the attitude, one of the most agile and, dare I say, complete superstars inside of the squared circle. Damian Priest right now, back inside the squared circle, waiting for Butch to approach him, and Priest is all over Butch right now. Look at this, backbreaker there on the bruiserweight, and into the cover. Not enough just yet, Judgment Day one step closer, however. Becoming the number one contenders for Mustafa Ali and Ricochet. Remember, both of those men competed in the opening round of the King of the Ring this past Friday night on SmackDown. Unfortunately, both failing in their singles opportunities. Ali coming up short to all-day Austin Theory. And the man who was once banished from Monday Night Raw, now a part of Friday Night SmackDown, the Viper Randy Orton, joining the King of the Ring field, defeating Ricochet, and punching his ticket to the quarterfinals. Coming up in a few weeks on SmackDown.
Looks getting a much needed tag to ridge the fridge. Damian Priest tagging in Finn Balor. Couple of fresh legs in your number one contenders matchup. Holy hell. The former rugby player and Rich Holland sending Finn Balor for a ride from coast to coast right there. And now a tag made to Butch. Rich Holland coming in, making an impact, and letting Butch do the rest. Tag made to the Bruiserweight. Remember what I said a few minutes ago, the Butch, excuse me, the Bruiserweight Butch and the Princeton Balor, they went one-on-one -on -one a number of weeks ago on Raw. Balor picked up the victory. I'm sure Butch would like to right that wrong in his mind tonight. Balor avoiding the basement drop kick there. Now Finn taking the legs out from underneath of him. Counter there by Butch. Goes for a drop kick and that time he delivers it. A tag made to Ridge Holland. Finn Balor looked like he was swinging for Butch there. Meanwhile, Holland coming from behind. Look at the muscle here. No doubt the strongest competitor in this tag team affair. Ridge Holland, a newcomer to Monday Night Raw, the protege of Sheamus. He has certainly turned some heads since his Raw debut when he took the fight to the visionary Seth Rollins. Imagine Ridge and Butch. Taking on Mustafa Ali and Ricochet for the World Tag Team titles at King of the Ring. What an incredible tag team matchup that would be. Dropping the elbow to the heart of the Prince. Balor survives another moment. Really both of these tag teams, whether you like the Judgment Day's attitude or not, certainly would be two incredible challengers for the judge, or excuse me, for Mustafa Ali and Ricochet for the World Tag Team titles. Damian Priest has got history with Ali and Ricochet. Remember when Priest was teaming up with Dominic Dijakovic. Those were the two men who defeated, or were defeated by Mustafa Ali and Ricochet in the finals of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic a few months back at WrestleMania. We haven't seen Dominic Dijakovic since. Gotta wonder if Damian Priest had anything to do with that. Nonetheless, the Archer of Infamy back inside the ring. Nice elbow on Ridge there. And a nice right hand. Ridge Holland might be the strongest competitor in this matchup, but Damian Priest not afraid to throw some haymakers with anybody. Goes for another one there, Ridge with the counter. Now look at this, trapping the arms of Priest, and only a few men are gonna be able to send a, a man the size of Damian Priest up and over like that, down to the canvas. Now Ridge again with another suplex. Ridge is coming unglued here tonight in Hartford, all in the means of becoming the number one contenders. The leader of the brawling Bruce, the Celtic warrior Sheamus, having his hands full in tonight's main event against Seth Rollins, but Butch and Ridge holding their own right now against Priest and Balor. The former two-time Intercontinental Champion in just the last year alone, the Bruiserweight Butch back inside the squared circle. Priest out running them there and using his own body as a weapon. Now the Archer of Infamy trying to take control of this matchup, squashing Butch in the corner. They're gonna take the breath away from his opponent. He can't breathe, he can't fight, and that's what Damian Priest was intending. But that's squash in the corner. Now send him Butch into enemy territory. And the Judgment Day looking to close in on victory here. Another tag made to the Prince Finn Balor, and a shot right to the rib cage. And Balor going behind, and we have seen Balor use this maneuver in the past to defeat his opponents. Down goes Butch, and we may have just crowned our number one contenders, but Ridge saving the day. Ridge Holland breaking things up, and Damian Priest taking care of Ridge the Fridge. And meanwhile, Balor looking at put the exclamation point on this match, but Butch had no other plans. And the Bruiserweight trying to get back into this thing. High stakes, high rewards on the line here. Now the Bruiserweight setting his sights on Finn Balor. Goes for the kick, Balor with a counter. Balor an elbow here, wait a minute Finn. Getting caught with a suplex. Goes behind, here comes Finn Balor. Wait a minute, stack up pinfall here. Balor trying to steal the number one contendership away for the Brawling Brutes, but not able to, to do so just yet. Oh, and a takeout Ridge off the apron. Trying to divide and conquer. Judgment Day are against the Brawling Brutes. Basement dropkick taking out one knee, and a second one takes Butch completely off his feet. Bruiserweight is in trouble right now. Balor, oh no. Down goes Butch for a dose. And went to the cover. 
once again here, but Ridge Holland saves the day for the second time. Rolling Brutes not going out with a fight tonight. I believe Damian Priest and Ridge have once again taken their fight to ringside. Meanwhile, keep your eyes on Balor, who delivers the coup de grace to those injured ribcage of Butch. And they have secured the number one contendership. Finn Balor and Damian Priest dividing and conquering in those closing moments against Butch and Ridge Holland. And ultimately off the coup de grace, Finn Balor has punched the ticket for the Judgment Day to challenge Mustafa Ali and Ricochet on the 18th of June at King of the Ring. This ever looming war and the last laugh goes to Judgment Day. Here are your winners, Damian Priest and Finn Balor. And there you see it official for King of the Ring, the Judgment Day, your new number one contenders. In a promotional battle as they challenge SmackDown's champions Ricochet and Mustafa Ali. And also coming up in Philadelphia, as we found out earlier tonight, another interpromotional matchup set as SmackDown's Shayna Baszler meets Raw's Liv Morgan, but the WWE Women's title is on the line. Also coming up in Philadelphia, SmackDown's main event for the World Heavyweight Championship, the Rated R Superstar Edge, back on the blue brand and looking to take it by storm as he challenges the Scottish warrior, Drew McIntyre. As we found out last week on Raw, the original bro Matt Riddle will meet the prize fighter Kevin Owens with Sami Zayn in his corner for the WWE title. The Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn show looking to continue their hostile takeover and add gold around Kevin Owens' waist. And what about this matchup signed for next week on Raw? Matt Riddle is back in action against the harbinger of doom carrying Cross. Will Riddle survive? Cross next week and build momentum towards the King of the Ring on the 18th of June. We are live from the XL Center here in Hartford, Connecticut. And it is main event time. And not only is it main event time, not only is it Memorial Day, not only is it Monday Night Raw, but it is Fight Night. The Celtic Warrior, the Visionary, first round battle in the King of the Ring. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring, representing the Brawling Brutes from Dublin, Ireland, weighing in at 267 pounds, the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus. We saw that incredible battle that kicked off the show, and it is signed for next week. Tyler Bate, Shinsuke Nakamura, Big Strong Boy versus the King of Strong Style. The quarterfinals of the King of the Ring Tournament kick off seven nights from tonight on Monday Night Raw. Nakamura or Tyler Bate will punch their ticket to Philadelphia and Cedric Alexander awaits his quarterfinal opponent. Will it be the Celtic Warrior or will it be the visionary, the revolutionary, Seth freaking Rollins? Some bad blood between these two men dating back to the month of March in the lead up to the Backlash event. Seth Rollins looking to right the wrong from all those weeks ago, get through Sheamus tonight, and punch his ticket to the quarterfinals. Big time main event set live from Hartford. And his opponent from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, Seth Freakin'. And to reiterate the history between these two men, it was a qualifying matchup to see who would be a part of the five-man number one contenders match leading at Backlash for the WWE Championship. It was Seth Rollins versus Sheamus. Sheamus picked up the win over the Visionary, and then after Backlash, Seth Rollins would retaliate over Sheamus with an ambush in the backstage area after Monday Night Raw went off the air. That, of course, led to that big, big time, excuse me, six six-man tag team match in Vancouver at Vengeance with the Brawling Brutes taking on Seth Rollins and the two men he chose to stand by his side on that night, Finn Balor and Damian Priest of the Judgment Day. The Brawling Brutes coming out victorious in Vancouver a couple of weeks ago, but tonight it is about the king of the ring. Will Seth Rollins be able to right the wrong of that backlash qualifying matchup, or is Sheamus going to punch his ticket to the quarterfinals? Rollins coming out with that dropkick early, nobody home, and Sheamus with that overhand shot to the chest. 
This should be a great matchup as Rollins looking for the quick cover over Sheamus. And you gotta wonder if Rollins is in his own head about this matchup. Knowing that the last time these two men went one-on-one, -on -one, Sheamus was the victor. And the last time they were involved in any style match with each other, Sheamus was also on the winning side. Seth Rollins also has to remember, you, you gotta have short-term memory in this business. You can't hang on those losses that long. You gotta keep moving forward, and that's what Rollins needs to do tonight. Going for the quick covers early. Seth Rollins trying to maybe throw Sheamus off his game, catch him by surprise, or... Oh, maybe Rollins knows he's not going to put Sheamus away just yet, but really just trying to frustrate his opponent and allow Sheamus to be on the defense. Rollins taking care of the Celtic Warrior early. I'm sure the Visionary has thought long and hard and watched the match back from a month and change ago and tried to put together the correct blueprint to defeat Sheamus tonight. And maneuvers like that certainly going to aid him so. Tope suicide to the outside. And Sheamus didn't even see what hit him as he had his back turned and Rollins came like a bullet from behind. And Sheamus has got to be careful that he does not get lured into Seth Rollins' style of matchup here. Sheamus is a brawler. There's a reason they call themselves the Brawling Brutes. There's a reason it is fight night every single time Sheamus steps inside the squared circle. He would prefer to throw some haymakers, throw some fists, but Seth Rollins... Definitely looking to out-wrestle Sheamus and possibly beat him at his own game tonight. All remains to be seen what is going to happen as this match progresses here in your main event. Memorial Day, Hartford, Connecticut getting a treat. Sheamus and Seth Rollins locking horns yet again. And again, Cedric Alexander, first matchup of the King of the Ring tournament last week, defeated the Black Heart Tommaso Ciampa. He will fight the winner of this very battle next week on Raw. Of course, those quarterfinal matches next week on Raw and Friday Night SmackDown will decide who participates in the semifinals of the King of the Ring tournament on Sunday night, June the 18th, in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, at the King of the Ring. Semifinals and finals of the tournament will take place on the same night. The winner will be crowned the King of the Ring and will earn themselves a main event world championship opportunity in August at SummerSlam. High stakes riding on every single matchup. And Seth Rollins throwing caution in the wind for a second time on Sheamus. And so far, Sheamus has shown some glimmers of hope, but he has really been wrestling this matchup on the defense. Seth Rollins has got the Celtic Warrior where he wants him right now. And after that loss a number of weeks ago, that is certainly what Rollins had to be hoping for. Sheamus is down and out. Seth Rollins looking to carry the momentum off the Judgment Day's victory over the Brawling Brutes. Hope that plagues Sheamus tonight, and Rollins punches his ticket the next week. Look at Sheamus trying to get back into this, grabbing the throat of Rollins and sits out with it. It's a choke slam power bomb variation. And Sheamus at the same time, he just talked about Judgment Day and Brawling Brutes and the matchup that just happened moments ago. Celtic Warrior can't let the Brawling Brutes loss hinder his mindset coming into this matchup. Sheamus has got to stay focused, and I don't think he's going to let Butch and Ridge Holland coming up short really hinder his mindset. We're talking about a former world champion, former United States champion, intercontinental champion. Sheamus has done it all in this business. And quite frankly, we failed to mention so far, but Sheamus, a former King of the Ring winner. Back in 2010, it was King Sheamus taking the throne. Sheamus looking to do it all over again in 2023, all these years later. Sheamus missing wildly with that shot. They're able to grab Sheamus. Or excuse me, grab Seth Rollins and maneuver where he wants him there, hanging him up on the top rope. And bad blood between these two men. If that's not enough to want to come up on the winning side of things, add in the prestige of the King of the Ring, and you got yourself a treat between these two main event caliber superstars. Rollins getting back into this. Wait a minute, going for a middle rope Phoenix splash. And that may be all she wrote here tonight. Rollins looking to move on, but not just yet. Celtic Warrior will not go down without a fight. One of the toughest son of a bitches to ever enter the squared circle. Rollins knows that. And he's going to have to dig deep down in the bag of tricks. Now, wait a minute, I think that's exactly what he's about to do. Rollins going to do the deed. Superplex. Falcon Arrow! 
combination, but only a one count there as Sheamus gets the shoulder off. Hartford, Connecticut coming unglued. Great main event so far between Rollins and Sheamus. I cannot believe that Seth Rollins, a Phoenix Splash, followed by a Superplex, followed by the Falcon Arrow combination, and Sheamus was only kept down for a one count. That doesn't show you how tough Sheamus is and how much he wants to defeat Seth Rollins tonight to move on to the King of the Ring quarterfinals next week. I don't know what will. It's going to be an awesome night of action next week on Raw. What about the main event that has already been signed? The Harbinger of Doom carrying Cross, the man who ambushed the almighty Bobby Lashley last week, sending him through a table in the backstage area. Carrying Cross will go one on one with the WWE champion, the original bro, Matt Riddle. Massive main event between two of Monday Night Raw's best coming your way in just seven nights. The same night that the quarterfinals of the King of the Ring tournament will kick off. Sheamus trying to get back into this, but Rollins has other plans here. So going to stomp a mud hole in the Celtic Warrior right now. Seth Rollins is taking the fight to Sheamus. As this match progresses, it's really been the story ever since the beginning. Sheamus showing glimmers of hope here and there. But he has been fighting on the defense for the majority of this thing. As Seth Rollins has been in control, he just hasn't been able to keep Sheamus down for a three count just yet. And now off the top, dropping the elbow. And that may do it. Into the cover. And Rollins not watching his ring positioning there. Sheamus saved by the ropes. Hell, Tyler Bate was saved by the ropes earlier tonight, and he ended up coming out and winning that matchup. What a upset earlier in the evening. Tyler Bate tapping out Sami Zayn to move on to next week on Raw. Certainly busted a couple brackets of the WWE Universe. Sheamus looking to do the same. He's got Seth Rollins up, and he's going for the kill with the cut to cross. No waste in motion there by Sheamus. And Rollins may have survived, but he got the two count there. And you see, as soon as Sheamus got the opportunity to strike, he went with one of his best maneuvers. Sheamus feeling a sense of urgency after fighting on the defense and knows it's now or never to keep down the visionary of WWE. Nice Alabama slam. That's, that's a concussion any day of the week. And Sheamus has got to get back into this, going for the bro kick. Misses wildly as Rollins got out of the way. But Sheamus still swinging. Whipping Rollins off. Scooping a slam in there. Down goes Seth. Into the cover. Will that do it? And Rollins kicks out again. This is what the King of the Ring tournament is all about, ladies and gentlemen. And this crowd at Hartford giving the appreciation to Rollins, giving the appreciation to Sheamus. These two athletes leaving it all they got from bell to bell. And Sheamus taking down Rollins again. Are you not and the Celtic Warrior is starting to pick up steam. Sending Rollins into the corner. Big time knee, we saw that earlier in this matchup, but won't be enough to scramble the eggs of Rollins. Went for it again, quite frankly, too many times. And now Seth face plants Sheamus. And I think that's going to do it. Rollins might have caught him, but not just yet. I thought Seth Rollins might have had him there. Thought he might have caught Sheamus by surprise. Couldn't keep him down, but a swing blade or whatever else Rollins got in mind may do just that. A visionary now. Keeping his wheels on the track. And now Rollins is heading to the top rope. And what has Seth got in mind here? Could be going for a top rope Phoenix Splash. This time he hits it again. If it doesn't work, once go to the well again is what Rollins was thinking. And he almost had him. Two count there, but Sheamus survives. Incredible main event between Rollins and Sheamus. Bad blood spoiling over to this tournament. And with the prestige and opportunity that is at stake in each and every match in the King of the Ring, neither one of these men looking to come up with the L tonight. Nice axe hammer by Sheamus. These men starting to go back and forth in this main event as Rollins now delivers a knockout blow of a knee. My goodness. And somehow Sheamus is on his feet, but here's Rollins sending him for a ride face first off the canvas. 
And Sheamus heading to the outside, but Rollins is on his tail. No wasted motion out of the visionary and drops the elbow to the heart of the Celtic warrior. Rollins heading back inside the ring and he's not done. Thought he could have been going for the count out, but Seth Rollins' wheels are still spinning now off the top rope with a lariat and nails Sheamus wildly. Seth Rollins does not want to feel the suffering and pain of a loss that he felt a few weeks ago. Wait a minute. Here it comes. The stomp on Sheamus. And that is going to do it. Rollins moving on to the quarterfinals now. Seth Rollins has snapped. Rollins has pissed. The stomp not putting Sheamus away. Hartford, Connecticut certainly not complaining. They are getting quite the treat in this main event. How the hell did Sheamus survive that stomp after everything Rollins has thrown at him? And you see Seth Rollins is doing anything he can to keep down Sheamus right now. Sending him off into the ropes again. Take down there, Sheamus landed a little bit stiff on the neck and another kick right to the heart of the Celtic Warrior. Into the cover. And that does it. That does it. And if that doesn't tell you how close Sheamus was to almost being finished off the stomp, Rollins had to add a little more salt to that seasoning, and that'll do it. Rollins is moving on in the king of the ring. Sheamus gave it all he had, but Rollins was just the better man tonight. Here is your winner, Sam. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Next week here on Raw, Cedric Alexander with the biggest match of his career versus the visionary Seth freaking Rollins in the quarterfinals of the King of the Ring. Wait a minute. Sheamus is down at ringside. The music has come to a halt, and Seth Rollins is not done. Are you got to be kidding me right now? Rollins, come on now. Adding insult to injury, rubbing salt in the wounds of the man he just defeated inside of the squared circle. Rollins has not forgotten about that loss in the lead up to Backlash. Oh, wait a minute. Come on now. Not a steel chair to the rib cage of Sheamus. This is absolutely unnecessary. The referee's helpless to step in and stop this. Rollins is a madman, and he's taken out his anger and aggression that has been building up for weeks on the Celtic Warrior. Rollins already won the match, but he's not satisfied just yet. Sheamus is absolutely helpless to defend himself right now. The brawling brutes probably have no idea what's even going on. Oh, wait a minute, no! A curb stomp on the outside of the ring. Rollins already won the match. He'll already meet Cedric next week. But Seth Rollins was not going to be satisfied till he absolutely embarrassed Sheamus. We need some help out here for the Celtic Warrior. And that son of a bitch Seth Rollins is moving on to next week. On when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise if you hate on that. I don't play both sides, doing me no cap. I'm a ride.